Hi, and thank you for tuning in to Noir Histoire. I'm Natasha, and in this episode, I'll be sharing what I've learned about Fanny Jackson Coppin. Born in 1837, died on January 21st, 1913. Notable educator, nationality, American. Frances Fanny Marion Jackson was born into slavery in Washington, D.C. As with many enslaved people, her exact date of birth is unclear. She later obtained her freedom when she was purchased by her aunt. Sources vary about her age at the time of her emancipation, but it occurred most likely before she became a teen. Information about her parents as far as who they were and what happened to them could not be found. Another aunt allowed Jackson to live with her, but she had to work to support herself. It was around this time that Jackson also began working to obtain an education. But due to having to work, she could only attend school or take lessons when her other responsibilities allowed. She eventually relocated to Newport, Rhode Island and spent her teens in the area working as a domestic servant while attending the Rhode Island State Normal School. While there, Jackson gained an appreciation and admiration for the profession of teaching. Her experience at the school inspired Jackson to pursue higher education for herself so that she could in turn help other black people. In 1860, Jackson enrolled at Oberlin College, which is located about 30 miles outside of Cleveland, Ohio. She pursued the school's men's course of study, a classic track that included Latin, Greek, math, etc. Jackson distinguished herself as a student, which led to her becoming the school's first black student teacher. Her class became so popular among the students that enrollment was eventually capped. Jackson later created a night school to help those who had been newly freed by the Civil War obtain an education. Following her graduation in 1865, Jackson moved again, this time to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She'd accepted a teaching position at the Institute for Colored Youth, IC. The school had been established by Quakers with the intent of refuting ideas about black students' intellectual inferiority. Jackson spent four years teaching the classics and serving as the principal of the girls' high school. When Jackson became the school's overall principal in 1869, it made her the first black woman and likely the first black person to be a principal in America. During her tenure, Jackson committed herself and the school to ensuring that students were better prepared for real-world work environments. Two years after becoming principal, she established a teaching program that included school management and teaching methods. The teaching program eventually overtook the classic program as the most popular education track. In time, additional teacher training methods would be adopted and built upon. In 1881, Jackson married Reverend Levi Coppin and became Fanny Jackson Coppin. Her new husband was a notable minister in the AME community, yet she continued her career at the school. Coppin saw training and education as the pathway to stable employment, which she believed was vital to black people's progress. In 1889, Jackson further expanded the IC to include a vocational training path through which students could choose from 10 trades. This had been a long-held dream that took over a decade to make a reality. To provide additional support outside of academics and training, IC offered housing for out-of-town female students and lobbied potential employers to help students obtain employment after graduation. At the age of 65, Coppin retired from IC. In the years since her marriage, Coppin had done missionary work with her husband. Now with more freedom and flexibility, Coppin joined her husband in a missionary trip to Cape Town, South Africa. She spent her time mostly working on programs and initiatives aimed at helping women and establish the Bethel Institute. Health issues caused Coppin to return to Philadelphia in 1907. She spent the last years of her life working on her autobiography, which ends with her time in Cape Town. Fanny Jackson Coppin died on January 21, 1913. Coppin's beloved Institute for Colored Youth had relocated to Cheney, Pennsylvania two years after her retirement. In 1951, the school was renamed and became Cheney State College. Baltimore's High and Training School had been renamed in Coppin's honor in 1926 and later became Coppin State University. Thanks for tuning in. Show notes and sources are available on the Noir Histoire website via the link in the episode description. I'm working on creating downloadables and infographics, so keep an eye on the website. These Black History Facts are released every Tuesday, so if you enjoyed this episode and want more, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and check out my Black History Facts playlist.